You're very welcome back. He's hiding behind the foliage. <laughs> Dermot Gavin can lay claim to the title of Ireland's only superstar gardener, having conquered TV and the Chelsea Flower Show. You hey, there? I'm here somewhere, look. <laughs> now you can listen to his tales in person at his event, a Chelsea Flower Show Odyssey at Clifford Lyons next week. Dermot Gavin, you're very welcome. Thank you very much. You Good have morning. brought quite an array with you this morning. I've brought a little bit. I've brought a little bit of my own garden in to see you at TV Three th this morning. Uh, An amazing range of stuff. Yes. It's, it's nice. It's uh, a good bit of colour. Our gardens, if we're avid gardeners, tend to look great in early spring, but they can go from midsummer on. They can get a little tired looking, and certainly into the autumn. So these are all plants. Well, you're going to talk us through the them in a moment, yeah. Dermot. What's happening on Tuesday in the Clifford Lines? So from Tuesday until I think about Sunday, there's an event called with the Gloss Magazine called mm -hmm. Talking Gardens. Uh, so there will be lunches, and on Friday evening there's a dinner, and all the lunches and dinners are accompanied by gardening experts. I'll be there on two days. Uh, the first day, which is Tuesday lunch. I'll be talking about my tales of creating gardens at... It's okay. a beautiful yeah. spot, isn't it? It's gorgeous. Yeah, I was at a wedding there earlier this year and the, the layout is just magnificent and their foliage, their plants, it's stunning. And can there. you imagine with the weather we're getting this year yeah. what it's going to be yeah. like? So it's a perfect it's a, few days, isn't it? Perfect for a So this is an experience, isn't it? Yes, yeah. And you can book for it at the cliffatlands.ie uh, or Eventbrite. Uh, and it's an experience. There's a, a, a very good landscape called Martin Brady who'll be there talking about the gardens that he creates. He's done some work at Cliff's at Lyons, brilliant florist there and the gardener from Cliff okay. who looks after all the fruit and veg gardens. So you're there, talking about your experience of designing gardens? I'll be talking must about... Which a hugely different range from garden to garden. Mm. Yeah, the, the first day I'm going to be there which is Tuesday for lunchtime I'm going to be talking about my experience of creating gardens at the Chelsea Flower Show right. having a look at this year's Chelsea Flower Show looking at the trends in terms of planting and ideas that emerged and then on Friday over day Dinner, I'll be talking about beautiful gardens from all around the world. Uh, from all around the world, the stories behind them, how yeah. they evolved, yeah. why they were created, and the tips but again. In, that in we terms can take of the from. Chelsea Flower Show, because that is effectively mm. the World Cup. Yes, you know that is the premier place to be seen, yeah. to be shown at. Yeah, but that must be huge pressure, though, is it? Massive. Yeah. Massive. I mean, you you have dreams, nightmares. Uh, <laughs> you always do. Waking up, uh, thinking, God, I'm meant to be dead. It, it just is obsessive, uh, and, you've and it takes up a full year. It's not a huge amount of time, though, in terms of putting the garden in. You've about it? three weeks, but at yeah. that stage, you're, it's a military it's, operation, yeah, yeah. and you have to be very but well. There's planned. meticulous detail involved, yeah. isn't oh, there? it's ridiculous. You know, it's all very. It's flower arranging on a grand scale. Yeah. Yeah. it's not gardening. About, it's uber gardening on steroids. It's because yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. uh, it's really gone through the roof, has not it? Because uh, now it's not just gardens anymore. There are features. There's yeah, uh, it's design. It's everything. Isn't well, it? people love the whole idea of the outdoor lifestyle. Well, I grew up in Dublin in the 1970s and we had tiny back windows, we had yeah, Venetian yeah. blinds, we had net curtains and you shut off your garden from yeah, about yeah. September till the following April. And now But it now is. the garden is staring yeah. at you and, you know... The garden's another room in the house. It, it is. Like, yeah, oh, yeah. All of that. You bring yeah. the outside in, oh, don't you? Look. We know all yeah, the terms. Yeah. Yeah. So, Dermot, if anyone is planning and they don't have a Clifford Lyons rolling hills garden, uh, but they do want to go to the garden centre and pick up a few good plants for the garden. You've brought along uh, an example. I've brought, brought along a selection. So we're going to start down the end here. Uh, starting down, uh, down the end. So what you can do in the garden centre, uh, what you can do in the garden this weekend. This is a dahlia. Dahlias are generally late summer uh, uh, flowering plants. This is a really, really lovely one that's uh, becoming increasingly popular, I suppose, over the last 10 years. Um, it, it was a br brilliant British gardener called Christopher Lloyd. He started using in them when they were out of fashion as hot plants and he created hot borders and this Beautiful was the colour. star of the hot border. Isn't it fantastic? So yeah. the foliage is really deep claret colour mm. and then you have this bright. This one is called Bishop of Landaff. So it's an aimer for a bishop in Wales where it was, nice. uh, who was around in about 1928, where it was bred. Absolutely fantastic. And there's another one which reminds me of the Human League. The Human League. The Human League, because it's called Dahlia Fascination. Do you remember ah, that song? Ah, fascination. fascination. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this is a bit of a lower one, this pink Dahlia. Absolutely gorgeous flower it's on it, the too. colours of the stem is, clar is that clarity. It's, so it's dark, amazing. Yeah. And if you put this with things like Canna Tropicana or anything that's bright, anything that's really neon colour, yeah, you yeah. have a real zingy garden. Actually, perfect plant to go with that. 
is in need of a bit of horticultural Viagra, I think. Because <laughs> it's ever so slightly... Yes. These are red-hot pokers, and I put them in the car last night to be ultra-prepared for this morning. And, and they kind of... And they've they dipped a little. Dipped uh, You need a, a bit of natural bit. light and a bit of water. And then. do you know what? I do believe that Viagra works even on plants. So You're well, joking. Far be it from us to <laughs> say, Dermot. So, so, <laughs> so that's Nyphophia, known as the red-hot poker. Uh, it does very well in sunny positions. It's very uh, exotic. Exotic looking, isn't it? Uh, ex exotic looking. And this one is called Echo. And the reason that it's called Echo is it keeps producing. You have your first flowers and then you have an echo of that because more oh, flowers come good. out yeah, time yeah. and time again. It needs a little bit of help and a little bit of water to get established. But once it's in a nice, open, sunny position with really well-drained soil, it'll do. Uh, and do these need well. support, Dermot? You know, that's a tall plant. Do they need to be against a wall or...? Brilliant question. No, that doesn't. Uh, yeah, that cool. doesn't need uh, support. Get the hang of this gardening yeah. Yeah, yeah. There's another one over here, delphiniums. Now, this is a white uh, del delphinium. Now, in general, that would need, uh, the delphinium family would need a bit of support. We have peony roses in our garden at the moment, and actually they need a bit of the treatment too because they're all flopping over. Uh, but most of these plants, because they don't grow too tall, uh, fascination is a little bit smaller than the, the, than the bishop, most are, are self-supporting. Okay. What they really need is open sunny positions. Uh, for a lot of them, they need good, Good, humus rich soil. On my Instagram, I've uh, today I've listed all these plants. So that's Dermot Gavin Designs. Brilliant. All of these plants, how to look after them, where to put them. This one here, Dermot. Look, this one's the beautiful. Red. What Isn't, is that one? Uh, is, that's, that's just stunning. Look that, at that. That's an Achillea, um, a yarrow, which is just fantastic. And again, you've yeah, picked out that colour scheme. Color that we're is gorgeous, isn't it? It's just zingy. Absolutely yeah. zingy. So it's a clump forming perennial, will creep uh, r r right through the border, give it plenty of food because it'll be a little bit hungry after producing all these plants. I want to show you this. This other looks one. like a stinger, this one. This yeah, is a bit it? of a stinger. It's an eryngium, it's a thistle. And um, th colour. there's a variety of this called Miss Wilmot's Ghosts because there was this gardener <laughs> in England. I love the, the name. stories are great, aren't they? Miss Wilmot's Ghosts. Well, Miss Wilmot was landed gentry and she had, I think, 200 staff looking after her garden. She was right. incredibly wealthy. She put all that money into her garden, but she used to collect the seeds of this plant. And she used to go around other people's houses, and when they weren't looking, she'd she take them out of pocket and drop them. The Shawshank Redemption. Yeah. And she spent all her money. She went bust in the end. She spent all her money on her garden. Really? But wow. But this uh, eryngium, isn't it fantastic? Look at the colours. And the lilac colour, colour goes right down the stem. All the way down the stem. Um, so these are a variety of different plants. If you want something, here's a heucarella, a mix between two different plants. Very good for pots or containers. Uh, even slightly dappled shade, it'll go. It's a good ground cover, has these nice flowers and this coral type foliage. So a low growing plant, uh, open sunshine or dappled shade. Quick question for you. I know this is a real rookie question, but when you buy a plant, the pot that you put it into, yes. should it be about twice the size of this here? Uh, yeah, yeah, for a really going up one size. Garden plants don't really matter because you want them to yeah. uh, plant. Indoor plants, you go up one size. Go up uh, one in, size, in, in, okay. In, 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 the, in the pot. Okay. Keep them well watered, well fed. And if you're leaving plants in pots for a long time, so trees, shrubs, or even herbaceous perennials, the real trick there, keep them well uh, watered, maybe even twice a day at this time, uh, because they dry out through the air going over the leaves and the flowers. But uh, once a year, take off the first couple of centimetres of the soil and put up and put in new... Yeah, Freshen yeah. it up. Fre fresh up. Sage fresh advice, yeah. as always. We all, we all need a little week. freshening up, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> Thank we you, do. Dermot. Thank you. Right, to catch Dermot at Clifford Lyons, check out cliffordlyons.ie forward slash talking gardens for more information. Yes, after the break, styles for your summer holidays. Stay with us. See you in a few.